Aquarius, hi, hey, honey. Hi, booze. I may have a little bit more energy than one should this time of morning. I had a business meeting today for um, the organization. Um, and so, yeah, I'm up. But anywho, welcome back. Thank you for clicking on the video. Hit the like button. Um, your support is greatly appreciated. And that's why you guys get the bonus reads the way you do. Let's get this prayer and dive right in. let's get into it so you can have Aquarius Sun Moon Rising Venus or North Node I'm like let's get it let's get it I love reading for us yes I'm an Aquarius I love reading for us because I can just really take my time with this message <laughs> Keep in mind, guys, I am liquidating all of the spiritual products on my site. Not the readings, not the life coaching. The sage, the baths, the, the, the incense, everything is being eliminated, okay? I have a sale right now, a liquidation sale. You use the code High Haters, H I and then Haters, two words, to get 30% off your items. When they're gone, they're gone. I really appreciate everyone who has been getting um, orders in ex in excess in excess. So th these you can't beat the, <laughs> the prices, but we have to move these off of the site. So guess what? You guys get it for the low. So click the description box below, message for Aquarius, so that you can get your order in. I do a sell sizzle um, for, on the website as well. If you know that's something sizzle. Uh, credit cards, you can do PayPal. You can hit me up with a message and send it to me via, well, no, you can do PayPal. <laughs> All right, so you make sure you guys check out the website. So listen, self-esteem. Self-esteem is here. I possess gifts of the soul that benefit me and others, okay? You, okay, so... I don't feel like this is bad. I feel like someone is evaluating themselves and becoming one with self. Someone is really realizing how unique they are, how different they are, right? So it's a difference between, you know, bragging and humbly speaking, right? And because most people don't know the difference, you know, because they you know, are miserable and lack accountability. If you say anything about yourself, then it's, oh, you're bragging, or oh, you this, or oh, you that. You know what I'm saying? No. Nah. When you know your power, you know your value, you know that you've stepped into your ashe, knowing what it is and who you are, you know, is, is, is at the top of the list. And therefore, you start to reevaluate everything in your life. My cousins tell me my expectations are too high. But then they turn right around, and these are males, and then they be looking like, well, yeah, I ain't putting up with that. And I'm like, well, how is it okay for a male to have these expectations, but when we have them, they're too high? We, we should expect much. No, 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 that's not how it works. So knowing your value, you know, it's a, it's a steam of self, you know, like Cat Williams said it best. Like, how can someone else make you feel a way about your freaking self? You know, you want love. Love yourself. 
the energy that you put out is what you get in. So it's kind of like, you know, people are mad because you know how to speak your truth. You're an Aquarius, the I know sign. Like they, you just wake up and they mad, you know? But I feel like to this collective group, you are aligned with self. And you're like, nah, I know who I am. I know what I want. And that's just what it is. That's what I'm going to get. So stick to that. You have growth, service, and relationships, okay? Someone business is growing, okay? Growth. I want to expand my consciousness and my awareness. Service. I feel good when I help others. Relationship. I am attracted to those people who serve my higher good. Someone business is growing here. Someone is in humanitarian mode, okay? Um, you're helping others. You're creating um, you're creating relationships with people that are aligned with your higher good. There are people that's coming in that 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 will be helping you. I can just tell you this: be mindful of the relationships that you create. And it may sound a little weird. Like some of the things I say it sound weird to people that don't qualify for the <laughs> The levels and you know communication that I'm, I'm 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 expressing, but it's not it's not that it's not that I want to you know make anyone feel away, but you are growing, right? You are growing. Guess what you had to do in order to grow? You had to be in the dark, you know. And like all great things grow in the dark, plants, babies, you name it. Keep going. So you've went through your stage. You've went to these through these these th this process of a, of ascension. You cannot still interact with, intermingle with, um, feel as though you can you you can just deal with on a regular basis people that are not on your level. Because even when you grow, things are going to look completely different to you for those people. A lot of times we're growing and we're doing the work that we need to do for ourselves, but our friends and our family, they haven't done the work. When you look and see one of the main things that people try to do when um, somebody, a celebrity is really, really big, do they try to put the guilt trip in the public, right? Because not that it's the celebrity that that is like, you know, whatever, it's going to be their PR. Well, this doesn't look good, so why don't you do this, whatever. That's why, I, I, like, there's so many reasons why I never attach myself. But see, people feel entitled to your growth. People feel entitled to your destiny. You understand me? You're not entitled to that. And a lot of people um, allow people to make them feel that way or they want to feel superior so bad because they have never felt superior in their life and they want to go and they want to help their family and they want to do this and they want to do that. Listen, if you choose to help somebody, that's amazing. But somebody else's problems is not your, it, it, it's not yours. That's what you got to understand. So when you're going through this process of ascension, you're realizing your power, you, you've stepped into your ashe, you got to stop, you got to pay attention to the connections that you have around you, to the people that you are connected to. Are they, are they hindering you or are they helping you? Your relationships have to serve your higher good. Your relationships have, what? Oh. Yeah. No. Your relationships have to serve your higher good. Your relations, these these things, they have to be going in the direction that you're going, right? It's so you you are selfishly moving, selflessly moving, giving to others, helping others, right? But just think about how selfish a person has to be to see you're doing what you're what you're doing. And it still requires money. It still requires time. It still requires energy. But yet they want you to just to just help them. They're not aligning with your higher purpose. They're not even doing right with you. But they got their hand out and feel like because you got it, they should be entitled to it. Whoever this is, you so you got to learn these lessons. Or, or you're going to learn them through the process of, of ascension. And it's going to take for you to have to fall back down and get it all again by yourself. To realize that it's just me. 
See, if everybody's coming to you, Aqua, with their hand out because they see that you're doing this, if they always need you, how, how are you going to be able to count on them? Think about it. You're going to higher realms, Aquarius. Now, these lessons, like these lessons, and I can talk to you about it because I've, I've been through these lessons years and years and years ago. When people look and say, oh, okay, you, you, you're doing this now. I mean, I, I've, I've been doing this. And I learned lessons very, very long ago in this in this in this state and so um you have a lot of people that have it and they're in positions and therefore they they lose a lot or they're hurt because you feel like you can give to someone but if you teach someone how to do what it is that they need to do or teach them business or teach them you know how to do what you're doing it will last longer than you giving them anything financially or materialistic Knowledge is the power. Knowledge is the key. Knowledge is the fruit. So if you don't want, if they don't want to listen to you telling them how to make this happen and they just want you to give unto them, that's probably your red flag. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm going to go, I'm going to go with red flag for 1,000 Bob. Like, <laughs> no. You got so many people around you that are manipulative in so many ways, you know, and you just got to, it's self-esteem of self. You got to know who you are in order to, to be able to acknowledge these people that's coming at you. It's a lot of lonely days, okay? When, when, when people talk about coming up and making things happen and doing good in business, it doesn't have to be. Some people meet that person and they're able to go, but you have a lot of lonely days because you, you're you going to, you, you've, you've ascended. So you can see those people around you that, that just want what you can offer. You know what I'm saying? You, you can see it a mile away. Time to pay attention to what's around you, Aquarius. Your life is extending to a higher level of commitment. Now, some of you guys are in eight of swords energy. It's Aquarius. You're trapped in fear. Oh, I'm not going to have these friends anymore and people are going to think I'm this way and people are going to think I'm that way because I'm not doing this, I'm not doing that. See, we're not here for, we're not here to care about what people feel. See, when you, when you stand out and you're chosen to um, walk a certain destiny, right, you have to leave that behind. And so many people, I've seen people that's even in, you know, uh, that, that that has, you know, gifts that they so worried about what people think and what people like. That's the one thing that they haven't let go. And then they wonder why things haven't come together in their life. You cannot worry about what people think because most of these people are sheeple. And no matter what it is, you can't be mad when they smile in your face and then go to talking to other people and, you know, behind your back. Oh, well, you know, they didn't open up that business. They are right, but the shoes look cheap. <laughs> oh, they they ran here opening up, you know, this business during the point we finna have a recession. You know, that, that's just stupid. That's not business. But they always, you know what I'm saying? They done went and brought this building and they written it out, paying more money. You They should have did it from home. Don't worry about what none of these people are saying behind your back. Cause they behind you. Like I don't know why people keep looking back behind them. You're behind me, and I damn sure ain't looking down to what's beneath me. Because when I walk, there's a solid foundation. So you have to understand that the sheeple are designed to be just who they are. That there's a saying in the Bible: God takes care of children and fools. Right, and, and, and so do you understand that that saying came from, you know, um, 
you know, fools, you know, fools were being taken care of back, you know, during the slavery days. If you was a fool, you wouldn't be out there working for the oppressor. But it's not that, you know, you could be a fool and you good. No, you definitely not. <laughs> you definitely not. So with your growth and expansion, like with your business, some of you guys are getting pay raises at work. I do see you happy. I see you celebrating with friends. I see you hanging out. Some of you guys aren't even celebrating with friends. You're celebrating by yourself. Because you, 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 really you, you really know exactly what I'm saying right now. You're celebrating by yourself. I, I, I'm good. <laughs> I'm going to get me a drink by myself or I'm going to cook my favorite meal and call it a day. See, when you start ascending to certain levels, Aquarius, you're going to start doing a lot of things by yourself. Yeah, if you're in a relationship, great. But if that person isn't aligned with where you're going, you're going to start to see that they're getting jealous. You're going to start to see that, well, I got something to do. I don't feel like doing that. Instead of celebrating your highest of highs, you're going to see people, everybody around you for who they truly are. So Aquarius, to this collective, you're going to start doing a lot of stuff by yourself. Because everybody ain't genuinely happy. Service. You're doing this from the heart. And, and we had a reading before and I was telling you guys about how an Aquarius, which is the natural humanitarian, you do things for people and they try to make excuses on why you're doing it to still make you feel lesser than, to feel like you're gullible, uh, to feel like, oh, you're missing this or you're missing that, so you're doing this and you're doing that. Just everything in the book to make them feel better about not doing right by you or you know dropping the ball when it comes to you you give from your heart Sh heart chakra here you're doing this work because you want to do it whatever it is you're doing that's extra you're doing it from your heart so so get that your relationships. I see some type of harmony. Harmony in your relationships. Peace in your relationships. Why? Because you've paid attention to who no longer serves you. You've, you, you've removed the people from your life that are leeches, that can't add value. You've, you've stepped outside of your comfort zone and you're comfortable with being by yourself. And so there's some type of harmony and peace that's about to be restored in an actual relationship. I think the person that you may end up with is not the person that you thought you were going to end up with at all. I'm getting like maybe someone made a million and one excuses on why they couldn't or, you know, just didn't do right by you. Aqua, some of y'all are completely walking away from this. And harmony is going to be restored in a certain area in your life when it comes to love. You're going to have like-minded people coming in to do business with you and work with you. They're going to see the world at a completely different view. I feel like <laughs> this is what I'm hearing, so I got to say it. We got to get into the tarot. Um, <laughs> like... <laughs> maybe you've been dealing with you know people around you friends family whatever and it seemed like nobody understood nobody wanted to put in the work right but this extension that you're going through right <laughs> you are meeting people easily that's on your same page and on your same level F uh, friends business people whatever easily on your same page and on your same level okay you're going to be like, nah, was I just around the wrong? Yes, you was. But no, it, it was just, it was test. You you getting ready for this extension, ascension. You're getting ready to be in places that you are in now with like-minded people. I'm very, very careful. Just because someone has a name doesn't mean that I want to be around them, okay? I'm, I'm very careful because a lot of people have names and they just really messed up people on the back end. And they just do a good job at keeping their business to the on the low. So just because you have a name does not mean that I want to be affiliated with you, right? So that's my advice to you, to whoever this collective is that's ascending to higher realms. Just because someone has a name or just because someone 
someone else says, oh, this person is cool and this person is this. Go get it, <laughs> get in that energy yourself and see. Just because other people feel like it's the right thing for you to do, it has to feel like it's the right thing for you to do, Aquarius. That's is for Aquarius. Put yourself in uncomfortable situations. It's time to start doing business with people that you haven't done business with. And when you see how they do business, then you're like, oh, okay, that's how you ascend. <laughs> You don't you don't get around Keisha and 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 Mook and all of them folks <laughs> and feel like <laughs> and feel like okay this is how this is supposed to be done. No, you got to get around people that you got to get around people that's doing things absolutely one hundred percent different than than what you are accustomed to, and 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 so you can grow and expand what it is that you want. Okay. Queen of Swords at the bottom of the deck. As you see, I'm taking my time with this reading. This is the only reading I had um, that I had left. And I still want to take my time. Queen of Swords. Somebody's on their boss-ish. Somebody's focused on their business, making things happen. You could be making a lot of phone calls in reference to your business, okay? Could be something here... A lot of a lot of people coming in. Eight of Cups is in reverse, though. You could be having a communication and talking to someone. Aqua, you could be dealing with another air sign, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. You could just be in your business energy right now, making the phone calls, doing what you got to do. You're deciding to stay with something as opposed to walking away, but you're still reflecting. King of Swords here. Some, the, the sun, the sun comes back around to, you know, shine. It's bright, beautiful light, right? <sighs> sun comes up. It's a new day. I see you being happy. You put in a lot of hard work with something. There's a relationship here. Could be Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Doesn't have to be. But there's, there's a relationship that you put in a lot of hard work in. Somebody had a choice to make, and they're choosing to come in. They, they had a choice to make. And they could have chose, they could have chose wrong. But now it's the death and the rebirth. Star card, there's your energy, Aquarius. You may, like, like I don't know. We, we, gonna, we gonna stop, okay? So there's somebody, like, and, and, and I'm touching on that because you got so much business energy here. Like, don't get sidetracked. If they come in, they come in. But don't don't sit down and put all of your energy into um, this person. You know, oh, I wonder when they're coming back. Oh, I want, like, don't, like, stay focused. If they come back, they come back. If they don't, fuck them. <laughs> like, like that. Like, like, like that. You know, yeah. You got the five of wands in reverse, Aquarius. You have the three of cups, the king of wands, ace of pentacles, two of pentacles, and the stream card. All right? Mm-hmm. So, I feel as though you're at a place of contentment. You're focused on your finances, so there's no type of conflict. There could be someone here, could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, whoever this person is. It's like you guys, you know, always had some type of conflict, okay? You always, you know, it was always an argument. It's like the relationship was strained because like no matter who said what like it was taken the wrong way um no matter how this happened it was just like it wasn't aligning and someone was just like you know what let me focus on my money let me focus on the bag someone could be talking to their friends asking for it seeking guidance from friends you know what am i supposed to do how am I supposed to do it? 
You got some juggling here or someone trying to restore balance within this situation. King of Wands standing right there in the building. But they're trying to build the strength and the courage to move towards this situation. So they may not be communicating at all with the strength and the courage card here. Leo's energy. Let's clarify the five of wands in reverse for Aquarius, I say. I know, I, look, y'all. Okay. I think it's going to be on Sunday. I don't know. Sunday, tonight, something. I don't know. I got to do y'all couples readings. I said I was going to do couples readings. I'm going to do four couples readings. So, I think four. I said, um... Aquarius and Leo, Aquarius and Sagittarius, Aquarius and Capricorn, and Aquarius, it looks like Pisces one. They're coming, y'all. Depends on how my day finishes out today, but yeah, so. Tonight or tomorrow. And I'm not going to post them all in the same day, so they'll just be coming, okay? <laughs> so the five of wands in reverse is the devil card, the five of pentacles and the empress. Someone is like, someone was toxic. This could be with the Capricorn here. A lot of, lot of earth energy, Capricorn ties Virgo. Capricorn and then Capricorn ties Virgo energy. It's like somebody, somebody doesn't want to argue with you, but they're toxic as hell. They could have some type of depression. They could be attached to something. But what I'm getting here, as soon as I open this up, I don't want to be a player no more. Knight of Wands in reverse, the real card. They, this person wants happiness. This person may not, not no longer want to juggle. Okay? But they want happiness. This person could could have like been going through some financial hardship. Whether it be you or your person, like they look up to you, they may, <laughs> they may feel like because they did did you wrong, that they're going through what they're going through. That just came. That's very specific. Okay, let's clarify the Ace of Pentacles for Aquarius. I say. But somebody's toxic. It's like, and they know they're toxic. They may feel as though they don't have enough money to deal with you. Like, they can feel like their money is not right. Someone is really overthinking about a new beginning. Could be this person if you're dealing with Earth sign. But they're really overthinking, trying to weigh their options in reference to like a business or a job opportunity, okay? Or moving forward with the connection. They're very much in their head. Um, they're blindfolded. So they're not looking at the situation, you know, um, with a clear view. Ace of Pentacles, you have the Four of Cups, the Justice, and the Queen of Wands. Hmm. Somebody is very, very bored in their current situation. <laughs> Someone is very, very bored in their current situation, okay? Um, they don't know what to do. This is karmic justice, you know, but it, like it can go in your favor. Um, you have queen of wands energy here, more fire energy here. This could be their mother as well. Someone here could be taking care of their mother. And so because like it's like they're not doing right by you, but because like, you know, they're doing right by doing other things, they could be getting a renewal in finances. If you guys are dealing with... So, so your person could have fire and, and, and earth. Like, you, you've been having a lot of fire and earth energy in your readings, Aquarius. So, 
your person may be bored with whom they are. It's karmic justice here. This person is looking into other options. Let's clarify the three of cups for Aquarius. I mean, come on, spirit. Okay. You have the moon in reverse. Okay, this is a lot. Okay, hold on. You have the five of wands in reverse. This good. Like, I feel like you guys are at peace. You know your value. You know your worth. Five of wands is here two times in reverse. I say, okay? And then you have a tower moment, all right? So, it's something that you're not seeing. So, a, a connection could be going too easy. There's no conflict or anything like that. It's like, you know, and then out of the blue, something just happens. It just catches you off guard, right? Um, that could be a friendship that suddenly ends out of the blue. It's like, what? Like, where did this come from? Don't worry about it. Don't go too deep into find, trying to find the answer right now. It will be revealed to you. Okay? Two of pin, two of pinnacles for Aquarius. The the it will be revealed to you. And and most importantly, this person can't go where you're going. Y'all be forgetting that. Y'all be so busy focused on past relationships. This person can't go where you're meant to go. There you go. Six of Swords, right there. Okay. I I can't make it up. Page of Pinnacles, Six of Swords. Four of Wands, Knight of Knight of Pentacles in reverse under the Two of Pentacles. Someone could be juggling or trying to bring in balance. Some of you guys are moving forward. You're taking action. You're moving forward to stability in a family life, and this is going to be somebody completely new. In order to get the balance that you want and need, it's more than likely going to be somebody new. And I know you're saying like. Okay, SG, I don't go nowhere. How am I going to meet them? Child, you never know. You could be walking to the mailbox. and they, how, how beautiful. You could be going to the store to get gas. How beautiful. What's up, handsome? So never, <laughs> never, you know, question how something is going to happen. It's just the spirit aligning them to be in your, your space. If you don't go out, it just means that it's prolonged more because the odds of you meeting your person. Yes, all these people in there, but you guys have to align the cross paths. This is somebody completely new. Clarify the king of wands. Okay, for first. Yeah, that's for removing, for stability. I feel like some of you guys have two different people here that you're realizing that you got to walk away from. Something that just, it, it, nothing happened. It just ended, right? And this is the typical Aquarius energy. Like, this, you could have been friends with one of these people. Could have been a relationship, and you just like, you know what? I don't even feel like doing this no more. That's typical Aquarius energy. I don't even feel, you know, this ain't even rendering me what, what it is that I, I, I seek. So, therefore, I'm, I'm, I'm gone. <laughs> yeah, uh, somebody's reevaluating some things. This shit was destined to be over. Anything and everything that happened, it was just going to happen. It was happening in divine timing. So when you're sitting here trying to figure out, like, this caught me off guard. <laughs> it was destined to happen. What do you mean? Yeah. So the king of wands is the hermit in reverse, the stream card, right? And the world card. So if you're dealing with the fire sign, I feel as though they could be dealing with a Virgo major arcana. That's Virgo's energy. But it's in reverse. So it's like this Virgo is not vibrating at their highest frequency. And they're trying to find the strength and the courage to end the cycle with the Virgo. Or they're trying to find the strength and the courage, but spirit has come in and ended this cycle. So that this person could bring in harmony in their life. Doesn't mean that you're going to be with this person. But they're in your energy. So if you're wondering, if you're not talking to this person, if you're dealing with the fire sign, spirit is working with them in their life. It's something they're, they're realizing something isn't serving them their higher purpose. So they could be dealing with the Virgo. You have the hermit in reverse. 
Also, like this particular individual, like they could they, they could be in an energy where they're not leaning on wisdom. They're not leaning on source, right? They may be caught up in the energy of feeling like they have this together themselves. They may feel as though, you know what, I, I got this, I got this. And now they're, they're trying to find strength and courage to end the cycle in their life. Take it how it resonates. Let's clarify the strength part for a purpose, I say. Somebody's definitely taking action. Looks like you, Aquarius. You're definitely taking action here. It's a lot of action. Um, and this is going to be on your behalf, right? You're, you're, you're moving forward. You're, you're determined, right? You're moving forward. Whether you, you're angry or you're happy, there's forward movement here um, definitely for you, okay? Yeah. Boom, shakalaka. This person could be younger than you. But they don't wanna they don't wanna look back anymore. They're ready to go forward. They don't wanna look back at what it is that happened. This could be you. No longer wanting to look back at what happened. You just wanna move forward. You just want to try to make something work. Okay, the strength card is clarified by the ace of swords in reverse, the nine of pentacles, and the ace of cups. So, like someone doesn't feel as though they're, they're going to triumph over a situation. Someone doesn't feel like things are going to go in their favor. Maybe this person knows that they aren't, they haven't healed. Maybe they know like this situation is not, like they're not going to be able to continue the, the behavior or the energy that they have been in and it's bothering them to step forward to say something because they maybe they don't want to change this person knows your value and your worth they see who see what it is with you Again, they could be dealing with the Virgo here. Nine of Pentacles. They may feel as though dealing with this person, this possible Virgo, or uh, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo, that... It's going to assist them with their higher good as far as making money so that they can do something in the manner that they're doing or whatever. But this person wants love. This person wants to move forward with you. So it's like this person is biting the bullet on feeling as though they have to deal with someone for money That's over with. This person may be walking away from someone and solely focusing on their own energy. Like their money problems is over. Well, this person just feels as though the connection with you two are absolutely over with. Like, you know, they're anticipating. They're anticipating that they're going to have to work hard and fight hard, but they have to walk away from somebody to make this happen. So, Aqua, there's somebody in your energy that's really deeply in their head. But, Aqua, you're completely focused on your finances and making things right, okay? So, the here's the thing that I can, this is the only thing that I can say about this, okay? Um... no distractions so that's, that's 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 it that's all i can say like you know it's okay to entertain people but you gotta stay aligned with what it is that you're doing no distractions so if you communicating or dealing with somebody is creating a distraction in your life um you know 
You get the you get the drip. Somebody here is ascending to a higher level. It's like either you're gonna come in and 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 get on board and, and, and move forward or you know, you're coming in and you're going to be a distraction. Do not allow anybody to take you off of your pivot spot. This is for Aquarius. Okay. So it's up to them. So you guys are twin flames. They could be in the matrix. The, the, the connection is undeniable. But that doesn't mean that, you know, you guys are going to be together. Distance. There's too much distance to maintain this connection. Perseverance. Obstacles are blessed opportunities of growth. You had growth here. Both, part, uh, both partners have the desire and will to overcome, okay? So you guys have the desire and will to make this work, but somebody's in their head and they're like, man, Aqua... Aqua, I've done so much to Aqua or you to them. I've done so much to them. I don't know. Thought patterns. Get out of your head and into your heart. This is the truth. Fragile heart. You can be vulnerable and trust in this connection. Your fragile heart is safe. Okay? So, again, whether that's for you or for them, you know, it's a divine connection. Um, stay focused on what it is that you have here because you have something so great. And so here's when, you know, people, oh, it's not a test. Here's when the tests come, come about, okay? You are on your pivot when it comes to business. Your money is looking good. You're focused, you're aligned, you're doing these things. But we all want love, right? And so this love offer comes into you, but there's going to be some conversations that has to be had. There's going to be some energy that has to be exchanged and so on and so forth. Make sure that you continuously align with what it is that you want to do. Don't let it distract you from the bag. Because you can't blame nobody else but you. As an Aquarius, in, in this level of ascension, you, you, you're okay with working with someone. But Aqua, you do better with getting your own money. Be real with yourself. You do better with getting your own money, having your own thing. They have their own thing. Y'all create something down the line together. That's great. But just don't get distracted. That's all I can tell you. Then you distract it because the relationship ain't going right. And you done set the bag down. Then you just SOL. Going in circles. With, with, with starting over with everything, right? That's just for Aquarius. No, no, no. Queen rising, stepping into power, praise, coming up, spotlight. I'm telling you, Aqua, no distractions. You know, if they come in to do the right thing, great. If they're not ready to do the right thing, listen, let me tell you something. You don't have to hold somebody's hand to do the right thing, especially if you've done this before. Again, I've seen that somebody here is moving on. To someone else that is not that that is not old. Like I see something new for some of you guys here. Right? You don't have to hold anybody's hand. You don't have to tell a person, you know, how much time they they, they need to spend with you. You don't have to tell a person, you know, okay, when to come see you. You don't have to direct a person on how to love you. 
when they already know this is a routine. You can't keep talking about the same stuff over and over. And you cannot get distracted from your purpose right now because you're walking in your purpose and this very well can be a test, okay? I look at everything as a test until I see the outcome of it. That way I'm not losing. <laughs> lonely okay you get you get lonely when you start moving and transitioning and stepping to your power you get lonely because guess what you done eliminated a lot of people you've seen people true colors and, and it just happens it is nothing wrong with that aqua okay bad habits drugs addictions or toxicities all right so you could have bad habits or this person somebody that wants to get in your life has some type of bad habits right you had both of them you had the devil card here <laughs> you know you had the devil earlier right so you know that this is cutting season. There's people that you're going to have to, you know, move yourself away from. Okay? Happiness hater. All right? So there's just somebody that's very much not happy, you know, with your glow up. Not happy with where you are in life. Somebody's not going to be happy when you move on. If this person aligns their energy and they come back in to do right, there's going to be somebody that's not happy that this person put in the work just for you, Aquarius. Just, they're not going to be happy, so you can't please them. Shine your light, your light irritates their demons. All right, your light irritates their demons again. You could be in these relationships and you think that this person has your back, but they like, Man, well, why I ain't doing this? Or you know, they think they know everything, or they always talking, or you know, they always doing this, they always doing that. Your light irritates their demons. That's your friends, that's everybody. It irritates the demons that are within them. You got to know that it's going to be a lot of people that you're not going to be able to deal with. It's a new world. Nightmares, insomnia, paranoia, anxiety, unable to see, seeing things under eye bags. Somebody is being haunted. And they're haunted by their behaviors, by the demons that they are allowing, that they have allowed in. And you allow demons in based on your actions. Okay. Moving on. Thank you, next. I told you. A lot of y'all are just saying, you know what? I don't have time for this. Somebody really got some, some issues with themselves. And, you know, even though you may love them, they may love you. Some of y'all moving on. Wolf in sheep's clothing. You're realizing that they are not who they appear to be. That they really have some type of deep-rooted, you know, um, animosity. You know? They don't like the way you're glowing. Carless, no car, repo, car issues. Some of y'all, this y'all homegirl and homeboy. <laughs> Some of y'all, this is y'all friend. <laughs> Groupie. You know, somebody want to get up on you for because of what 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 they see, what they really rock with you. They 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 watching you. No, they just want to be in the mix, waiting. They waiting for the time, the right time to come in. Low IQ, that came out. Somebody isn't too bright. Legal issues, court, judges, immigration, lawyers, ETC. So somebody, and you had the justice there. Mind you, if you, you had the queen of wands. So you could be dealing with a fire sign that's going through some type of legal issues. Child neglect, bad parenting, scared of, hates parents. So the children, they have having issues with their children and how they, they, they treat their children. Ghosted, disappearing, ghosting, in and out. This person could be in and out. This person could be in and out with their children. This person could be in and out with you. And you over here dodging bullets, blocking negativity, escaping crazy people, and protected from the haters, honey. That's why the code is high haters. <laughs> Boss daddy, stable, rich business owner, CEO, big dick energy. Now, it could be you. It could be them. Whoever this is, somebody's bossed up. You dodging the haters. You focus on you and you and unbothered. I couldn't have said it better, okay? Aqua, I hope you guys enjoyed your extended reading. So, now we're going we're gonna to check to see who is really here, okay? Who really stayed for this long reading? So, in the chat, if you made it to this point of the reading... Put in the chat. Um, what am I going to say? Put in the chat. Yes. 
I'll do it for free. <laughs> They're not going to know what the hell you're talking about. Yes, I'll do it for free. I have the instructions. You know, get creative. Make people wonder what the hell we talking about if y'all made it this far. I, I really was eager to come do this reading, you know, and just really just take my time because I'm always like, okay, let's get in, let's get out. And you know I like giving y'all long readings, so. Yeah, put some something in the chat, some, something weird, and I'm going to know what y'all talking about. I might be like, what? <laughs> like, don't don't say end of the reading or none of that. I love you guys, Ashe.